Let's get right into it. There are two main ways to get rid of this malware, a manual and an automatic method. The manual method is the same as the guide we show on our website, but with one distinction. Sometimes the malware changes how it works, and it's just not possible to update this video. If the tutorial you see here doesn't get the job done, visit our website from the link in the description and look there. On the other hand, the automatic method is what I call the easy way, because I verified the malware can be removed with Spy Hunter. This will take as much time as a cup of coffee, scrape the thing right off your PC, and you get insurance that it won't come back because the program will block it. You can sign up for a free trial, but if you buy directly, you get 15% off with code HTRG15 or by simply clicking the promo link in the description. If you want the future protection, purchasing the tool now to get the discount is definitely worth it. Here's how to set everything up. Click the link in the video's description, download and run the Spy Hunter installer, and then just follow the prompts. Once the installation finishes, click the buy button in the top right and you'll be given the option to choose between starting your free trial or directly purchasing the tool. If you go for the free trial version, you'll be redirected to an activation form where you'll need to enter some personal data but no credit card details. Then you'll receive an email with an activation code. To use it, you'll need to create a Spy Hunter account where you must enter the code to begin your free trial. If you directly opt to purchase the app, click buy, choose a subscription option, and enter our promotional code. Then select your preferred payment method and enter the required details. You'll soon receive an activation code in your email that you must enter in Spy Hunter to start using the app. Whichever option you choose, once Spy Hunter is active, just open it, select the scan option, and choose a full system scan. This can take some time depending on your PC and how much data is stored in it, but it's worth the wait. Once the scan is done and any potential rogue items are detected, click Next to check the scan details and then select Next again to let Spy Hunter take care of business. After that, the tool will likely ask you to restart your PC. For extra safety, it's a good idea to run a second scan, though by that time, your PC and browser should be like new. Now for the manual method. If you are still here, it's time to roll up your sleeves because this part will require a bit more effort on your end. Hijackers usually take over your browser by introducing a rogue policy, which is the main obstacle here, so that's what we must target first. But even before that, go to your task scheduler and check the items there. Explore the Actions tab of each task and see if it's set to run anything strange. Delete any suspicious looking tasks because those could allow the hijacker to return even after you delete it. Now for the actual cleanup, First, go to the extensions folder of your browser and just delete everything there. This will corrupt all extensions, but don't worry. The ones you need can be easily restored. Next, go to the affected browser and type the address to its policies page in the URL bar. The exact address depends on your specific browser. Look at the values column. See any long strings of random letters or numbers? If yes, copy those and save them in a notepad file. Then visit the extensions manager of the browser, toggle on developer mode, and look at the different browser add-ons. If there's an extension you don't remember installing, that's the potential culprit. Copy its ID number and save it in the same notepad file as the rogue values from earlier. Clear registry. Type reg edit in the start menu, press enter, and open the registry editor with admin rights. Press control and F, search for the first value, and delete everything linked to it. Note, you must always search again after a deleted item to ensure there aren't more left. Then do the same for other values and rogue extension IDs you noted earlier. If you are blocked from deleting a given registry key, right-click it, open permissions, then advanced, then change, and then type everyone in the field. Click check names, then OK. Select both available replace checkboxes in the permissions window. Click apply, then press OK. This should restore your ability to delete the respective key, which is what you must do now. That should be it for the rogue policies. But if you are on Chrome, I also suggest running the free Chrome policy remover tool. Just download it and run it as administrator, ignoring any warnings, and it will automatically get rid of any rogue policies you may have missed. Browser cleanup. Now the hijacker should have loosened its grip and it's time to finish the browser cleanup. The method here is pretty much the same across different browsers. I'll show you how to clean Chrome, but if you are using another browser, it's going to be something quite similar. First, revisit the extensions tab and delete any items that don't belong. Anything you don't need or don't remember installing should go. Then go to settings in the browser menu and open privacy and security. Clean your browsing data for all time, making sure all data boxes except your passwords are checked. Then go to site settings and check the various permissions there. If under any of them you notice the hijacker name or another unfamiliar address, remove it. Do that for all permission types in the site settings section. 
Then go to Search Engine, open Manage Search Engines, and delete any tools you don't recognize. Then go back and restore your preferred search provider as the browser's default. Lastly, check the Appearance and On Startup settings. If your new tab page or homepage is set to something strange, delete the rogue URL and replace it with a safe one. After completing everything, the malware should be gone from your browser, but in case it's still there, just remember you can always delete it using Spy Hunter.